Okay, welcome to Sean Dunn 3D Art Studio, and today we're going to go over how to prepare UVs for Substance Painter. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Maya and we have two 3D models that appear to be identical. However, there's something a little bit different about one another, and that is the UVs. So let's pull up the UV editor and bring that over. And something to understand when bringing models into substance is that we need to create texture sets. So essentially, we need to plan a little bit because texture sets are how Substance identifies material breakup based on UVs. So here we have two 3D models that appear to be identical, but one is geared towards uh, being a game asset and the other is geared towards being a asset for a film production possibly or something that needs a little bit more um, resolution perhaps and this this one here on the bottom is is using what's called UDIM patches while this one is just using kind of a per patch assignment okay to get this started for a UDIM scenario let's start moving shells in the UV editor so that Substance Painter knows that we are going to use this as UDIMs. So first, let's take a look at what we have here. We've got these sheets and so on in this first patch, and then this bed, the wood paneling, is also in the first patch. So UDIM is based on uh, multiple patches, and we need to make sure that we send one of these to the next batch. So we're going to head, go ahead and choose, maybe let's choose the bed. And we'll go ahead and right click, choose the shells. And then uh, I have transform open here in the UV toolkit. You just want to make sure that your units are set to one. And then just let's uh, hit the right arrow there. So now if we select both of these, we, we can see that we have one set of shells on this first patch and another set of shells on the, the second patch. So this is perfect. This is what we need for substance for a UDIM scenario. So let's go ahead and take this geometry and go to File and Export Selected. And we'll just uh, grab this UDIM here that I've already created and I'll hit Export as an OBJ. Okay, so now that we've done that, we'll just jump over to Substance. Okay, so here we are in Substance Painter, and let's go ahead and start importing this. So we're gonna create, uh, go to File, New, and we'll just use the PBR template and choose our geometry, which is this UDIM setup. And I'm just gonna take, uh, change the document resolution to 2K, but this can be changed on the fly. But the most important thing is that you wanna make sure that this UDIM check is checked. So create a texture set per UDIM tile. That's what we want. And we'll hit OK. And so now you can see that the model's there, everything's intact. And most importantly, you have your UDIM numbering system up here in the texture set list. So when you export this out, they will be associated with these UDIM texture uh, tiles. So, and if you click on this first one, this is, this is back in Maya, the, the tile that was on the left. And then the second one here on the right, which is the bed the bed uh, wood paneling here. Okay, so this tutorial is not about how to use Substance Painter, but it's more how you get 
geometry into substance for different UV techniques. So in order to demonstrate the full process, I'm going to just show you, we'll just throw some materials on here and then we can export this out. So I'll just go ahead and grab a wood texture here. And normally you'd want to bake this all down before, but that can be for another episode. And then we'll just choose some other material. Let's do a cotton, throw that on there. Okay, so then you'd want to go to File, Export Textures, and from here you could choose if you want all the UV uh, UDIM tiles being exported out, or just you could just check or uncheck. But uh, most importantly, you'd want to choose your con configuration. This is if you're using a particular render or you know going to a specific um, engine. This is where you can designate how it's going to be output, basically. So let's say you wanted to do, um, you know, Arnold or something like that. You could choose Arnold, and you can see right here that Arnold already in Substance already has a UDIM option. So this will just set everything up in the configuration, and you don't have to do too much to it. So you then go ahead and hit Export, and you know designate to where the files will go. So it's as simple as that, but let's go back into Maya and let's set up a kind of per patch system that you might use in maybe like a game engine like Unreal. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so back in Maya, we're gonna work on this top 3D model here, which is combined and all the UV shells are on top of each other. But what makes this different is I've actually assigned different uh, materials that will help Substance understand uh, that these are going to be different texture sets. So if I just turn off the shading here, you can see that I've just assigned two simple Lambert materials. It's simply just selecting all the geometry that I wanted and I assigned the green one and the same thing with the red one. And if we take a look and we select the geometry and we just go up here we can see that we have the green color, which is Michael's bed sheets, I'm calling it. And then we have the red color, which I'm calling Michael's bed for the wood. So they're just simple Lambert materials. We want Substance to know that we want two different texture sets. One is for the wood and one is for the, the sheets. So you, the same kind of scenario, you'd go up to File and uh, Export Selection. And you're going to want to change your file type to FBX. And then hit Export Selection. And then we can jump over to Substance Painter. Okay, so back in Substance Painter, we're just going to create a new file and I uh, want to make sure to choose the template we'd like. I'm going to choose Unreal 4 and Document Resolution. All this is the same. We just want to make sure that this UDIM option is unchecked. And then we'll choose our geometry and choose the FBX and hit OK. And so now we have our bed and you can see it's very similar, but the difference is in the texture set list, we have the names of what is what. So Michael's bed, which is the wood paneling and Michael's bed sheets. And also to keep in mind that both of these tiles are in the uh, 1001 space. Um, so when you export this out, it will export each material for Unreal in this case to therefore be used in perhaps an instance situation in Unreal where you can have different materials or instances in Unreal. So 
and it's the same kind of thing we would just you know choose uh, material let's say uh, wood if you can spell it there and uh, we'll go on to the same thing we'd want to bake this down like I said before but we're not going to in this tutorial and then you know choose our cotton and make sure we're under sheets and drag this over and then we would go to file export textures in this case we have it set to the because we already set that in uh, when setting up the file that is set for unreal 4 and when we export this out we're going to get two different textures that are both in the 1001 space so hopefully that's helped everyone get a little bit better idea of how to bring textures in to Substance from per perhaps another 3D application or, or using Maya. Uh, it just has to do with how you set up the materials or how you set up the, the UV tiles in your application. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to follow, like, and share and subscribe. So take care till next time.